At the Consumer Electronics Show this year, we thought that in the area of 3D TV, we'd be seeing a lot of second generation products from companies that entered the market last year, plus some new models from companies that didn't. One of the interesting wrinkles that we did see here, though, this year is new passive 3D TVs. And these are TVs that let you use the polarized glasses, like the ones that you get in a movie theater. A number of companies, including LG and Toshiba, announced passive TVs that will be available later this year. You know, there are, there are pros and cons with passive TVs. One of the advantages, as I said, is that the glasses are inexpensive, so you can afford to outfit a family for well under $100. With active TVs, which are the current TVs on the market, the glasses cost $130 to $150, and they tend to be bulkier, and that's been off-putting to a lot of customers. One of the disadvantages of passive TVs is that there's a loss of vertical resolution because of the way that the TVs use a polarized film. Some people may opt to stay with active because you get 1080p to each eye, while other customers may feel that you, the, the ability to use those passive glasses outweighs whatever loss of resolution. And it's unclear whether or not people are going to really notice that. Now, one of the other things that we've seen at the show are prototypes of new displays, and they're called auto-stereoscopic TVs. And these are 3D TVs that don't require any glasses. And really, that's been the holy grail for the 3D industry. We've seen a couple of demonstrations. One that particularly impressed us was by Sony, and they were showing a 56-inch glasses-free TV. But it has 4K resolution, and that's four times the resolution that you get with current TVs. What I've heard is that these TVs require more pixels, and so these TVs are probably going to be much more expensive. It also leads us to believe that they're probably not going to be commercialized for another four or five years. This is Jim Wilcox from Consumer Reports.